The knuckleball in football is a shooting technique predominantly used by strikers, coveted by most players and envied by all goalkeepers, however still respected due to its difficulty. The technique consists of a strike resulting in little to no rotation of the football, causing it to travel in a randomised trajectory, much like a zigzag pattern. The technique itself can be broken down into three dominant phases, the run-up, the strike, and the follow-through. We will begin with the run-up. During the run-up, it is optimal to have three to six steps prior to the strike. This can be seen in our professional athlete, Cristiano Ronaldo, performing a perfect example of the textbook technique. This run-up will sufficiently generate the required power without any loss of technique in the striking pace. In both our amateur and our professional, a three to six step run-up is used. This can be seen on screen in a side-by-side -side comparison. In preparation for the strike, foot placement is key to apply sufficient impulse to the ball on impact. As can be seen, our amateur performer has not correctly placed his foot parallel to the ball and perpendicular to the ball, much like our textbook technique. This significantly affects the result of our strike. During the strike, as mentioned previously, the placement of the foot will significantly reduce the amount of impulse applied to the ball, thus decreasing the change of momentum as a result. Correct posture when striking the ball also plays a significant role in the outcome of the knuckleball. Without correct posture and position, the centre of gravity of the player will inevitably change. Thus, they will have to compensate through a loss of force through their strike. This can be seen in the amateur player as his foot placement has led to his body being behind the ball at the point of impact. This causes his striking leg to swing further in order to reach the ball, decreasing the force applied to the ball at the point of impact. As can be seen in the professional Cristiano Ronaldo, a slight bend remains in order to increase the force applied through the strike by the extension of the knee. The wind-up for the kick also plays a significant role in the force generated and applied to the ball at the point of contact. As we can see, a professional athlete has achieved an optimal angle of around about 90 degrees at the back of the knee at its highest point. This too is the case in the amateur player. After the foot has come into contact with the ball, the player will follow through with his foot and leg until the knee joint is straight or in a state of extension due to the quadriceps flexion. This can be seen in the professional athlete but not the amateur as he has already achieved a state of extension in the knee before the point of contact of the ball. This decreases the amount of force that can be applied. This follow through is not complete however as it works like a jab punch. The follow through is short but powerful. The momentum of the player and the striking leg is stopped through the use of a jump just before the ball becomes a projectile. This can be seen in both players. The point of contact on the ball is also important as it requires the athlete to hit the ball in the centre to bring about minimal spin. This can be seen in Ronaldo's free kick, however it is not occurred in the amateur players. As you can see, there is spin that has been applied to the ball, indicating that the strike was not applied to the centre.